Hello print and play friends. This is Rachel Bruner and I'm excited to show you something that I've been working on for a while. Um, so I usually use the four card layout. Um, this, this one will be better to show it. So having four cards on a layout, fronts and backs, and this has bleed, which means the um, image or the background of the image goes all the way to the edge where the cards would get cut out. And usually I cut this out with my guillotine cutter, but I have developed something super exciting, a die cut. This die cut has four card cutouts. It's got this edge, you can see, has this edge here, um, and for four cards, and the way it's set up, and I just place on this. So I have this die cutting machine. This is the Spellbinders version. It, um, We'll take a letter or A4 size paper and I just line it up. And then I have my other cutting mat. This one's been used a lot. And then I stick it through my die cut machine. Hopefully I'm not gonna bump the camera here. Okay. And then crank it through. Top off, pull off the die cut, and voila! Look at that. I have four perfectly cut cards. Now these cards are done using my uh, method that has the laminate inside. This is linen paper, 24 pound, 25 pound, I mean, uh, front and backs. And on the inside is a five mil um, mil, mil, millimeter, I think it is, uh, laminating pouch that I've used in my other videos. So these cards are now all exactly the same size. That Now it's really important to have bleed because without the bleed, getting this to line up, um, it, it's, you know, there's an edge here. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well in the camera, but you know, there's a bit of an edge. Now, I could have the die cut cut out, um, have a hole here to see the cards, but that was what I did, that was my first test, and that had a problem, which I'll explain more in detail in written notes, but here we go. It does take a bit of cranking. It's not too hard, not too bad. And there we go. Got my whoop, my four cards. Now the cards do leave a very small dot. I don't know if you can see. Little small dot indent because the die cut does have these small little holes. That is to let um, gives air so that oh, the camera here so that then the cards will pop out so that the paper, whatever you're cutting out in the die cut will come out. But these come out just great. They look really good and they are all exactly the same size. And I've cut out a bunch of these already. So then you can see here, because the dimensions are all exactly the same, of course, the, the cards are perfectly the same. Now, some of you may be wondering, why don't I cut two at the same time? Well, good question. So I could do one here and one here, and I do have two die cuts, and I could place one, and then I could place the other one, like, you know, like this, and then put the cover on and run it through the machine. However, in the tests that I've done when I do that, it is much, much harder to crank the machine um, because it's when it's going through, and cutting and it's when it goes when the rollers go over these bumps to cut um, it's much harder and when I do it's it just takes me much more strength and pressure uh, and so for me I don't find that it's worth it even though they get done you know getting two cut at once it just it's much harder and I just find this is much easier and I do it at the top here so that because with die cuts you actually cut into the, the plastic. Um, that's normal. You can see 
that with the top plate, this is what I used to have as my bottom plate. I um, have a lot of cuts. Um, I used it both sides and whatnot. Um, so for these cards, I don't want to have marks. Um, they, and they actually don't do too bad with marks. So anyways, I'm sure you're wondering what I mean by that. And I'll kind of show you. But uh, so I have, I did test um, doing cards that have been laminated on the front and back um, using Martin's method. And as you can see from this card I tested, this did not finish cutting. It cuts through the, the it was cutting, this is the backs, it's cutting through the backs and it didn't cut through the bottom layer of laminate. It, um, the, the die cut isn't deep enough to go through, um, not, you know, to go through two layers of laminate with the, then the cardstock. However, I did make a deep cut, um, one of these that has a deeper blade. I just haven't tested it yet, um, the, on the laminate, because when I test on the, on these paper, it, um, on regular cards, like the regular cards, when I use the deep cut one, it was pushing into the cards and it pushes deeper into the plates and it leaves a deeper cut. Um, but I will probably eventually test some laminated cards. But for now, I'm gonna do one more. So I'm super excited to share this. Crank it through, come on, there we go. Now, of course, those who are stronger than me maybe would find it fine to do two at once. Um, and actually doing it in the middle, it's even easier than on the sides, but um, I want all the cuts to be up here. Then I can do more cuts here for my thing. There they go, look at those, it looks so good. I've got some other of these that I cut out. And this, right, this is for my game to catch a spy. That's a game that I've entered in the 54 card contest on Board Game Geek. It, uh, so, you know, it's free and it's in testing, but so far uh, it's had some great um, response and feedback from people. Uh, it's a single player game. It does have a two player version. Uh, it needs to have a little few kinks worked out, but overall it works really well. All right, okay, I said I was doing one more, but. Come on, there, there we go. And there we go. So um, I have cut out, so these are the ones with the five mil. These have a three mil, these cards here, they have a three mil laminate in the middle. And they cut out just fine too. Um, they're the ones that I've done the most testing on. Um, they've cut out just fine. And then these are the five mil I wanted to test after I did some tests and make sure it cut and it cuts them just fine. Haven't had any problems with, with the edging or whatnot and things. So I might've gotten the corners a little too rounded, but they're still good enough for this. And this saves me a whole lot of time. The only, the only main, issue is really getting the bleed on the cards now since this was my game it was easy for me to add bleed to my own cards um here's a let's see here's another game this one here's with some dragons um these ones i edited and added bleed to so i did a lot of prep work so i'm not sure how much time i actually saved you know when i'm doing my own prep work um to have to add bleed and things but uh for this method it's really essential because also, as you can see from these cards, I didn't have bleed. So you can see, like I've got this whole white edge here. Um, and this one's a little more obvious because you know, if I pull that back, that edge, there's still white edge there. Let's see the other ones here. Yeah. So see, these have a lot of white edge, which makes me nuts because I was cutting from the backs and also, um, the laminate is kind of coming up. Um, I didn't run these twice though. So I don't know if running them twice, twice would help or if part of it's because it didn't get a good clean cut. Um, and then you may also be wondering, why don't I develop the nine card layout, a die cut for the nine card? There are several problems with that, which I'm not gonna detail in this video. Um, I will type up a, an explanation of the issues with that and whatnot, because there's a lot of stuff with that. But um, yeah, um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna write out um, some things about the pros and cons of this and 
the issues, problems with doing other methods, templates, and whatnot. But anyways, I just thought I would share with all of you this super cool tool I've developed and and uh, thought you guys would be excited to see it too. All right, I'm back. Just want to show you real quick that I am done cutting out a whole bunch of cards. I had here 37 of these. So that's four cards on each page. So I cut out 148 cards. There are here, um, the, these are 54 cards from um, my game. There's nine cards here from a nine card game. And then there's a whole bunch of cards here. So the total 144, and this, is, this isn't even in the whole dragon game. I had cut out a whole bunch before. Um, but as you can see, the riffle shuffle, perfect. With my laminate core, with the thin paper, and with them being perfectly cut size. So, so yeah. And I think I didn't time it, but I'm thinking, and I don't know with all of my talking stuff how much I was cutting while talking, but, and then I'd cut some before. So I'm thinking about anywhere from 40 to 60 minutes, probably 40 to 50 minutes. Um, that it took me to cut out all these cards. So less than an hour, or if I'm off, maybe an hour, but yeah, so an hour or less to cut out 148 cards that are all perfectly uniform. And of course these, you know, this isn't professional, but it's definitely a step up from just doing with my key team cutter, my paper trimmer. So yeah, I've got these great cards and turned out so nice, kind of see. So anyways, just wanted to share the final result.